So, hello, good morning, guys. Uh, welcome to my channel, Onga Junior. It's a very chilly morning in Africa here, and uh, today I just want to show you my my morning routine. So, I will be starting by by untying the animals and uh, putting them where they can, tying them where they can. Uh, I mean, m leaving their hosts and uh, putting them where they where they always eat. So, like for today, for now, I'm gonna start with the with this one here. This is called rose here. Yeah. This rose. So I'll start with rose and uh, tie it outside and uh, i told you the initially there are two the roots roots are the twins this one here called blessed somebody gave me a name blessed and youtube subscribe my subscriber gave me that name there and this one here doesn't have a name guys so somebody can also give me a name for this this one here so that at least it has, it has a name so this one called masai and the other one called called a guy so I'm gonna I'm gonna start with rose. I'm gonna start with rose. I'm going to untie rose here, and uh, maybe tie it uh, where it always eats. So rose doesn't uh, leave the compound here. With rose it doesn't leave the compound here, and uh, so I'm going to tie it down there. So when I am shaking, when I am moving, I'm moving water. So so this is rose, guys. You can see rose here. And uh, let me try it out. Let me try it out so that this can heat. Now after this, I'm going to, I'm going to look for uh, for this food. Let me have that. Uh, somewhere down there. So you guys can keep watching with me. Uh, I'm going my, my daily activity. 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 So after this, I want to clean the compound. After cleaning the animals here, I want to clean the compound. As you can see the compound is in a mess so i have to clean the compound here so that at least it can, re it can remain clean that so that it can remain clean and uh, you can see guys so i want to get another the the the, the young ones there the, the young ones there and uh, i want to tie them also in their places there they also have some got, got some nice places where they can tie them and we're gonna see we're gonna see guys so I just tie them one by one tie them one by one and uh, uh, i will start with this one here this is blessed this is blessed i'll start with blessed there yeah? and uh, come to this one the nameless actually i will even start this cow nameless I will set this one nameless here. So this this young ones here. This young ones here. Come on, come on, come on. Bless. So you can see them guys. You can see them this young young ones here. They also know where they always eat. They also know where they always eat. Uh, actually they were treated some days back. They were treated, they were dewarmed and now you can see. They are very nice. They are very, very, very well. Okay. They are doing okay. So, I'm going to So, this one here. So, so that's the... Uh, I want to tie them back here. I want to tie them back here. And... Uh, uh, I will use this peg here. This I call a peg. Yes. This is called a peg. So I will uh, I will use the peg here. This peg here. This is called a peg. I will use this peg here to to tie them here. There's also one here. This has been tied. The peg here has been tied. So you're gonna see. You're gonna see. You're gonna see. Just keep watching, guys. Keep watching. You can see how they are eating. This uh, this twins here. You can see how they are eating here. These are the twins from Rose. Very nice calves. Very nice calves, guys. So I'm going to try one here. There is uh, this one peg here. I'm going to use this peg here. This is a peg. Already there's a peg here. So I'm going to use this peg to to try one. Okay. Tafuta jiri, weke na 
So maybe I'm going to use, the, I'm going to tie bless here. I want to tie bless in this peg here. I'm going to tie bless in this peg here. And uh, so that it can graze, it can graze. This is the peg, you can see the peg here. So you just put this way, uh, this way, and uh, you do this way. Huh? This one is very, you can see now very easy to, to untie. It's, you know, in my language it's called ayoya, ayoya, it way ayoya. So tie it ayoya, that way, that's what's called ayoya. It's very easy now to untie, when you want to untie it, it is very easy to untie. Wake it up when you must smile. Very easy to untie. So guys, you can see the how, how, how the the sun is almost rising. The sun rays. You can see the sun rays there. It is a very chilly morning. Eh? It's a very chilly morning and the sun is almost rising, rising here. I see how beautiful Africa is. How beautiful the village is. Africa, rather village here. And Kenya to be specific in East Africa. And I hope you are doing good. I hope you are doing good also. To those who have woken up, Image, image, to those who have woken up, I hope you are doing good. And those who are going good, those who are waking up, I hope you are doing good, guys. And uh, you have a nice day. May your day be fruitful, very fruitful, uh, very fruitful. So I've just tied the two animals, these two calves, these two young calves here, the young calves. So I'm going to untie the, the other ones, those big ones there, those bulls. So we go. The bulls there. <coughs> so the bulls, uh, will be taking them down there where we harvested some maize there so that they can eat. You know, with them, they are being taken out. They are being taken out. So you can see this one here drinking very early in the morning, drinking water. The water look is very cold, but it's drinking. It's drinking that water there, you can see. It's drinking water. So we're gonna try them down here. There's a place where they harvested yesterday. <coughs> and uh, let me see. We're going to try them there. And uh, you know the funny thing with this animal, this animal really likes running. I don't I don't understand why it always run. And so guys uh, I'm just I'm just going to tie them some uh, down there. There's a place which was always uh, down there. And uh, so I have to walk them down there. I have to walk them down there so that they can eat. They can eat <coughs> so keep watching guys keep watching and uh, this is how we do it in the village here you just wake up in the morning and uh, you do your daily routine your daily routine your daily routine and uh, life goes on very very smoothly life goes on very very smoothly so you can just see the view the morning view in the village you can see the morning view in the village here. Yeah. You can see the morning view. Wait, wait! You can see the morning view in the village here. Yeah. Oh god! I'm just telling them I will beat that one. Oh, shika shika yo yo black one, yo black one dia nak kembali kembali. So kita place nazar pun, nazar kuja uku. So guys, uh, we have just reached here. And there's got a lot of pasture, pasture, pasture. You can see pastures many here. So you want to just tie these animals so that they can eat. 
they can eat this maize remains and uh, by around uh, by around uh, 12 noon we will come and uh, take them for uh, so that they can go and drink some water we will take them for uh, to the river not even to the river back at home there so that they can drink some water there uh, by around uh, so I'm looking for a place where I can at least tie them. That's why I'm still walking. I'm looking for a place I can tie these animals here. But in the Kwamzuri come to one pegs. Pegs in the Kwamzuri son. When I can be a little pegs, Kunapanga Apu, and be a Mizako Pepang. So, guys, uh, actually. There's a story I was just trying to, I've, I've just, I'm not forgetting, but I wanted to share with you. So there is, a, you know, right now people are going to school and uh, back at home here, that uh, my dad and my mom, they're only two people in the at home here. Uh, most people are in school and me sometimes I, I always, uh, I'm not at home almost all the times. So, you know, they also have, uh, my mom has a shop and my dad sometimes, and I talk, I talk, and sometimes uh, it's not at home. Sometimes uh, he leaves, he leaves home, and uh, you know we also have animals at home here. So it is big, it is very difficult taking care of. It is very difficult for the animals to survive. So it's just, there's nobody who can take care of them. They are just uh, by themselves. You no, know? it is very difficult. So we decided to at least uh, look for uh, somebody who can help us take care of the animals. Actually, to me, it's like a brother, and uh, to me, it's like a brother. So he will be helping us, taking care of the animals and even the home, the home compound and uh, some uh, some stuff there. So yesterday we were blessed with one, <coughs> with a brother from uh, another place there, and uh, so he will be helping us here. He will be helping us here. It's like the now the home manager is, he will be taking care of the animals and uh, the compound and uh, and other other things at home there. So yesterday he came and. Uh, it's not a, it's not my it's not a lure, but it's a good guy. So he came yesterday and uh, we are with him. So I'm trying I'm showing him I'm trying to show him to show him where at least he can tie the animals. I'm even going to show him the where he can cut the napier grass for us. And uh, you know when somebody is new, you have to tell him what he should be doing and uh, how he should be doing it and the places. You know you just you can't just come and uh, put somebody look for after I got animals and you have not shown him where at least uh, he should even graze or even should tie the animal. So today today I will be walking around with him telling him some uh, places where he can at least tie the animals. Like for now here, you know here is, here is not reliable you can't because it is just for a short duration. Right now they have just harvested that's why we have just come to tie the animals here. Otherwise during planting seasons uh, you can't tie the animals here because the <coughs> air is full of is full of maize so there are some places specific places where i can at least there are now there are some places which are reliable they are reliable and uh, during even during the seasons uh, it can still tie the animals here there during uh, harvesting can still tie. so i will be walking with him in such places i will be walking with him in such places so that he, at least he knows where i can uh, tie the animals there so right for today, that's what I will be doing for today in this morning here. I will be showing you first, you know, I have to demonstrate for him. I have to tell him what to do. And that's why I came, I've just come with him here to, to tell him what he should be doing. So that he knows very well what should be done, how it should be done, and at what time it should be done. So we are with him here. And uh, very at a short while he's going to say hi, you want to see his face and... Uh, He's going to say hi. So that's um, uh, it's my brother. I want to treat him as a brother of mine, not not like uh, someone who's uh, doing a job, but I want to treat him as my brother there. So guys, uh, today I have a very interesting video. You're going to watch. You're going you're gonna to feel uh, <coughs> very interesting. You're going to enjoy them. So keep watching. Keep watching, guys. Keep watching. Keep watching. All right. So guys, uh, yes, yeah, almost here. So you can say your name and uh, just speak louder. Amos. Amos mm. Wanyama. Yes. Elima. Elima. So yes. you can just wave to them. Nezafanya hivi. 
So, so guys, these are most wanyama here, and uh, will be helping us at home here, doing one, two, three here. So it's a new brother I've just found uh, at home here, and uh, he's a good guy. <laughs> yes, Buddha, he's a good guy, and I will be telling him how to do things at home here. So almost uh, welcome. We carry this one for you, but you have to be careful. So, 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 and whenever there's a problem, Ama is whenever he's feeling any any pro, it's just a problem, he should be sharing with me or uh, my dad. So guys, you can see the compound is in a mess, and uh, I just want to do <coughs> some little cleanliness here. Just want to put, I want to clean the compound here. So just watch with me, guys. You can see the compound is in a mess. Yesterday there was a lot of wind, and uh, you can see this tree here. This tree inside is little area. Kuna re kuko inside the this tree here so i'm telling almost to help me with the wreck there so that i can do some little, little cleaning and tell him what to what he should be doing what he should be doing you know you just leave somebody so this tree here yesterday it, it, it was a lot of, there was a lot of wind guys so you can see right now there's sunny and uh, windy so you can even sweep this compound very clean waking up in the morning you find it's in you know, all in a mess the leaves from that tree there so I'm also to try and camera ini. Where she got to be at a camera in a cup of sour. But I told her, I'm going to So, guys, uh, I want to just do some cleanliness here uh, with this rack here. This is a rack here. So, I want to make sure the compound is very clean. I want to make sure the compound is very clean. And uh, <coughs> this is what uh, I always do in the morning when I wake up. I do some cleanliness. Compound should be always sleep. It remains clean guys and uh, so I also have to tell my brother here how he should be doing it no you can't just leave somebody come in a coffee on a shika up on belly yes can't just leave somebody without telling him what he should be doing so this is what I will this all of what I always do guys every morning I wake up I do this here this cleanliness for seeing it, the compound cleanly. So you can see guys, uh, where I've swept is very clean. Where I've swept is very clean. And uh, it is different from the place I have not swept. So that's what I always do when I wake up in the morning. And uh, and even this, uh, this, this, this dance, cow dance here, after sweeping like this way, I always uh, remove the cow dance. So that even when this animal, yeah, this cow here, yes, it, it eats in a, in a better place, in a clean place, in a clean environment. But somebody might think uh, the environment is not being swept. It is swept every day. It is only that this tree over here, it has got a lot of uh, leaves, drying leaves. Maybe that's a way of its survival. You know, when this, some, there are some trees that always shed their uh, leaves when it is sunny. That's the way they survive. I remember that the, the, the zero fight, the zero fight, the zero fight. They always grow in uh, in dry places. That's the way of the they adapt, adaptive feature for them. The, the zero fight plant, kinds of plants. They are the, the trees there. So like this one, I think it is a zero fight, and uh, that's the way it survive. When there is a lot of uh, sunny, it sheds some of its leaves, so that. Uh, it reduces the water consumption. The water consumption and uh, then even see the stem is very circular. It keeps more water, more water, more water. So this is what I always do guys. This is what I always do. Every morning, every morning, every morning. So today I'm with Amos here. Amos uh Amos una on Aja Panyumba and Kwaji. So guys, I'm asking Amos uh, how, the, how, how this place looks like. You know Amos come from a place called Bungoma. Bungoma is very far from here. And uh, from Bungoma to here is around... Uh, it's around uh, $10, huh? Around ten dollars, guys. Just imagine. That's very far. 
So you came by a bus yesterday, and uh, so you know you have changed the environment. You have changed the environment, and uh, I'm asking him, how is he feeling? He's telling me, he's feeling okay, he's feeling nice. And you know in the village here we have a lot of uh, sugar cane. So I'm asking him if he likes, if he loves sugar cane. He's telling me yes, he loves sugar cane, and uh, he will be eating. He will be eating sugar cane in the village here. So welcome, Mamo. So guys, you can somebody can join me to, to help me clean the environment there. Somebody can just join me here, and uh, so he can clean the environment. Somebody from my YouTube family there, please join me and uh, help me clean the environment. And you can also leave a comment there, guys. Leave a comment there and uh, tell me this work I'm doing here is it uh, <coughs> is it clean? Am I doing it perfectly? So you can tell me, guys. You can you can just tell me there how I'm doing it. You can tell me. So you can see where I've, where I've swept is very clean as compared to the, the other places there. So I'm still continuing with the, with, the, with the work here. I'm still going on with the work. But you can see there's a very big difference here. There's a very, very, very big difference here. Very big difference. So I'm just feeding this uh, this chickens here. Yeah, there's also a dog. Actually, one one of my one of the the pigeons one got lost, and uh, this one is only remaining one here, guys. Very painful. It's only remaining one. <clears throat> so I don't know where I don't know whether it was stolen by somebody or it just goes lost. So that pigeon there is remaining one. There were two. Actually, they were, they are started laying eggs, and uh, all of a sudden one just got lost from. I even never knew it is gone. I just realized some days back here that the, I don't have one, and that one is remaining alone there. So the remaining, this remaining was the, the the female one, and now the male one is gone. So I will try to look for uh, another male, male male pigeon, so that at least they can be two. So actually, so we have just uh, so you can see the compound is looking, it's looking very clean now, very clean. And actually now I want to prepare some tea here for me and uh, and Amos. I want to prepare some tea for me and Amos here. So you can see the compound is very clean. We have just done some cleanliness here. So we have just done cleanliness. So this uh this uh a water tray. This is a water tray for that for that animal there for us. This is a water tray here. So the compound you can see the compound is very clean. So we will pick this one. So you see these cow dungs here. We're gonna pick them. But uh, for now, I want to prepare some tea here so that uh, at least we can take some breakfast. Me and uh, me and Amos, being that we are only two people in the at home here today, I'm just going to prepare a very small tea, not a small tea for uh, for two people. So guys, uh, watch with me, and uh, you're gonna see how I'm preparing tea for today. I want to prepare tea here for uh, for two of us. So this is our kitchen here. This is our kitchen. This is our kitchen here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. This is our kitchen here. So I'm gonna use because the tea is very small. The tea is very small for only two people. I'm gonna use uh, the gas cooker here. I'm gonna use the gas cooker. But if it was, it would be, if it was small, I could have used this. Uh, we call it candle. I don't know whether you can see it very clearly. We call it candle. So I'm gonna use the gas cooker here to to prepare the tea. Prepare tea for me and uh, for me and uh, Amos, so that at least we can we can uh, have some breakfast. So this are uh, this are matchbox. You can see the matchbox here. It's called uh, it's called Shark Shark Shark. This are matchbox here. So let me light this uh, this this uh, gas here. This gas cooker here. Today I'm the chef. I'm the chef in this home today. I want to prepare some uh, some nice tea here, very nice tea. 
put down the chaff here and uh, let me put this camera down here let me put the camera down here so today i'm the chef here today guys and uh, i want to prepare some nice tea here for two people tea for two people so my gas is on you can see my gas is on i will put this for here here this is for here here i'm gonna put this for here here and uh, this is my water here i'm gonna use this water here because it is we are only two people i'm going to put a very small small water not not much for uh, two people and uh, i think that's enough for us i don't take much tea and uh, that's enough i only take one cup of tea and i'm just okay so that tea will be enough for us me and my brother are more there so I will wait for this I will wait for the water to boil for some time before I add milk inside there. So meanwhile as the water boil let me do some uh, let me do some I was doing some cleanliness here in the in the shed here in the cow shed here. So I will be waiting for that water to boil up before I add milk. So you can see the cow the cow pen inside here is very it's very it's, it's in a mess. So it is in a mess but uh, Actually, I want to first prepare tea. I was doing some cleanliness here, but I'm not through with it. So I have to prepare tea first, and uh, so that we take breakfast before before I continue with this job here. So I'm going to show you all the activities going on inside here. So after sweeping, so I always use this broom here. Actually, it is even finished, but uh, I will buy. So this one, now we call it Makuti, the hard broom. We call it Makuti. As you can see, it is sweeping here very clean. It's very clean. Because yeah, it's also rough. Yes, yeah, rough. This floor is very rough. So we have to use the hard broom to sweep it here. So this is the wheelbarrow here we are using to collect. And this is also a spade here. See this is a spade. This is a spade here. This spade here. We use this spade to collect the, the dungs, the cow dungs there. As we put them here. Then we, we ferry them down there. There's a hole there where we ferry them there. For... Uh, for manure so that they can decompose to manure there guys so as i'm always continuing with this job here let me prepare some tea here you know you, it is called division of labor so i'm always doing some job there and uh, actually it's not true so let me prepare tea let me get some milk here and uh, the milk is inside this the milk is inside here so i'm gonna get the milk i'm gonna make the milk and uh, prepare some nice tea there for two people, very thick tea. Those who love uh, thick tea, thick tea. So I'm gonna use this milk here. And this is too much. That's too much. That's too much. So I'm gonna use this milk. This one is okay. And uh, you can see the milk here. This one is okay. So I'll be using this milk to prepare tea for uh, for uh, for two of us. You can see the milk. This one is okay. This one was milk today morning. <coughs> this one was we used milk this one from today morning in the morning. We milk this one here. So 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 so. So I'm just in the kitchen here, and uh, I guess my water is okay. I guess my water is okay. I guess my water is okay. Let me put this milk here. As I look for some from some cup cup a cup. So I guess. Let's see if I can get something, some cup here and even a thermos flask for uh, so I'll be using this thermos flask here. So this is a rack. So this this rack here we, we used to we are using it for uh, putting this this uh, utensils this way for them to dry. So don't just you know if you put them down here, some <clears throat> the hands can jump on them, the darts from the wind. So if you put them here they are rest and uh, they are very safe there. So I'm going to get I'm going to take this one here. This sieve. It's called a sieve. This sieve here. I'm going to sieve. I'm going to use that sieve and uh, let me look for uh, for the for the thermos flask. The top, the head. So this one also I'm going to use this one for the thermos flask here. You can see. So I have my thermos flask. I have my sieve here. And uh, now I'm ready to prepare the tea. I'm ready to prepare my tea here. 
I'm ready to prepare my tea here. So that's under in the kitchen here. So this is uh, so I will be saving my milk first. I will be saving. My, let me put this thing on this table here. On this table here. This uh traditional kitchen guys. This is a kitchen in the village here. So I will be saving my milk. I will be saving my milk. Let me So this is what I've, I've done here. Yeah? I've just added milk, but before I add it, I sieved it using this one here. <clears throat> so I will be waiting for this uh, for this milk to boil together with the water, together with the water, so that you know I have to keep very watch. I have to be very watchful. You know, milk is very funny. For a very short time, it will it will be half and uh, it will pour out. So I will have to wait for it here yeah? as it uh, boil. I will wait for it here. Yeah. But uh, let me go and look, let me go and check look for uh, <coughs> the nini, the tea leaves. Actually, we use uh, we'll be using chocolate drinking chocolate for today. I will not be using tea. So I will be using. Actually, that I'm preparing some chocolate there, drinking chocolate there. So I will be using this drinking chocolate for today. For today, I'm gonna use the drinking chocolate, guys. This is the drinking chocolate you can see. Drinking chocolate. So I'm gonna use this one today. For today, I'm gonna use this. One. Those who love drinking chocolate, please just uh, leave in a comment there if you love the drinking chocolate. Or uh, so this is drinking chocolate you can see. This is drinking chocolate. So I'm gonna use this one for today <coughs> to prepare my my tea there. So this is uh, drinking chocolate. I'm gonna use this one. So today I'm the chef here. I'm preparing tea. For us, today I'm the chef here. Today, today, today I'm the chef here. So let me see. Let me see. Let me wait for it. Let me wait for it as it boil up. So guys, uh, I welcome you also for breakfast and uh, so that we can drink some tea here and uh, at least you can uh, have a taste of what I've just the tea I've just uh, prepared or I'm just just I'm just preparing here. So this is a gas cooker here. And there's also, uh, it's called uh, a Jiko. This one is called Jiko, a modern Jiko here. For charcoal, it's a charcoal Jiko, this one. This is for charcoal here. Let me show you it. Let me show you this one here. This one is, uh, so you can see this one here. This is for charcoal. This one for, if you have charcoal, you come and use this one. Actually, it uses very small, it minimizes charcoal. So this is for charcoal here. So it has got uh, this uh, this opening here. This one is a regulator. When the heat is too much and you want uh, to minimize, you close. You close here. And when the heat is, uh, you want more heat, you just open this way here. You see, this is a modern one actually. It is a. Uh, it really it, it is different from the other ones there. For there's there's some ones which are uh, which can consume a lot of charcoal, but this one here. It's very modernized. You can see even the 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 the, the made the make the design. I to design here. It's very nice. So when you when the when there is too much heat inside here and you want to to regulate it, just just close this 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 this, this regulator here, the heat regulator. And if you want more heat, just open it this way. You can even open it. You remove this one. This one is removable. You can see. So this one, if any, you want to pour this, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, hash. These are hash from the charcoal. So you can just, you just remove this one and, and pour out. This is the jiko here, charcoal jiko here, the charcoal stove. Let me use that that term, charcoal stove there. So as I wait for my my milk to boil, my tea to boil, I've just showed you that <coughs> that charcoal. Uh, and there's a yam here. Actually, this yam. This one we picked from uh, this ayam, guys. This one I will be cooking. I will be cooking it maybe tomorrow. This ayam. This one we just uh, harvested down there. On, there's a one I showed in the compound there, so you can see this yam here. And uh, there are many. Some are. This, this one is another one here. There are big ones, and uh, you can see another one here. So those are uh, those ones I will be I will be preparing them tomorrow. 
and for that uh, at least we can eat them we can eat them so guys i'm preparing tea here so keep watching as i prepare tea and as i wait for the milk to boil and uh, things will be manganyu manganyu very very interesting very very interesting actually it is almost you can see it is almost it's almost boiling so let me wait for it to boil up and uh, we see what's happening as you can see the tea is almost ready here it has boiled and uh, i just want to transfer it uh, into this jerry can first see the jerry can here i want to sieve it here after sieving it here is when i will transfer it to this thermos flask here this is a thermos flask you can see the thermos flask so we transfer the tea here so at least it can be it can be warm you know when the thermos flask keep it more warm for a longer duration so this kitchen here actually this kitchen here is not a modern kitchen and uh, one day i will build for my parents uh, a modernized kitchen so that at least they can have everything at their comfort zone uh maybe a one home one house with everything the kitchen inside and uh, everything so that at least they feel good you know when you do such a thing for your parents at least they you have they feel appreciated for the work they have done <laughs> so guys i'm just going to get some uh, some uh, escort for breakfast uh, just uh, nearby center here called rare center and uh, I don't know how much a packet of mandazi cost, but I think it is uh, half a dollar. So in here, there's a school here. There's a school here called Rari School. Rari Primary School. So this is somebody's compound. You can see the flowers. They are very beautiful. But, uh, so this is a school. This is a primary school. This is the primary, the, the school in the village. It is called Rari. Rari Primary School. Maybe you can see. Maybe you can see. You can see called Rare Primary School. You can see it's called Rare Primary School. Ministry of Education. Rare Primary School. So this is the, the village school. That's the village school. Hey. <laughs> Go on, can you? Send out your code here. So, guys, uh, I'm, just from, I'm, I'm just from the center there, and uh, <laughs> you can see how the center looks like. This is our center here. Uru, how are you? <laughs> So you can see you had the guys so so there's some point saying that uh, at least the the center needs help <laughs> the center needs help actually the center is really growing very slow guys it's uh, really growing very slow i'm even wondering what's happening with this our center there other centers are just growing leaving it here i don't know what's happening guys so i've just bought some mandazis here this goes for a half a dollar so you can see the mandazis here goes for a half a dollar guys so the mandazis goes for a half a dollar and uh, I'm now just heading home. I'm heading home. So you have seen the center there. That's how the center really grows at a very slow rate, guys. A very slow rate. Very, very, very slow rate. I don't know what's happening. This is a school here. The school has got bananas. You can see the bananas here. And uh, that's the gate. That's the school gate. Called Rade Primary School. And uh, that's somebody's homestead there. You can see how beautiful it looks like the flowers the decoration with the flowers and the one there very interesting very nice guys this is very nice so actually you know this road here i'm just uh, following here this road used to be impassable some days back here it had a lot of rocks big rocks that even a, even a, a motorcycle could not just pass here even a motorcycle could not pass here but uh, thank to our leaders who at least uh, they did amazing job here they 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 excavated all the stones the rocks the big rocks there you can see the big rocks there they excavated all the rocks and uh, now the road is now passable a very nice smooth road even the tra big lorries can pass here the big cars the small cars the tricycle and even the motorcycles so you can see the big rocks here i was talking about so this is an sda church this is a church here the a seventh day adventist church you can see the church here it's called Rare Seventh Day Adventist Church. 
this church here. Nowadays it is very beautiful. A lot of development is being going on in this church here. You can see the church guys, even the fence itself. So these are the rocks I was talking about. So imagine these rocks were in this road here. Just imagine these rocks. These rocks were in this road here and uh, our, uh, I, and they were excavated and uh, you see the road now is very passable the road is passable the rocks were just from the road here even on the other side there were some rocks also you can see the rocks there so they did amazing job so they did amazing job and uh, this very recommendable job actually i really love this job they did here and uh, it should not be taken for granted so you see this tunnel here there's a tunnel here so this tunnel when they were making when they were preparing this road here so they also they also may, may, they also put the tunnel here so that when the water comes you know most of the cases uh, the road is being uh, destroyed by the by the, the the flowing water from the rain after the rain now that flowing water there so this, this so they made this tunnel here at least to help this road so even before it dried up there's a lorry that just came here loaded with some items there and uh, pass over it and the tunnel breaks so it leaves this other part is this other part here so you can see it is even a half halfway can see the tunnel is halfway this side it doesn't have a tunnel but now this side has got it was one tunnel this way but the lorry messed up with it <coughs> so they have no, so they have never planned uh, to come back and uh, make it i don't know if they they got annoyed and uh, or what they have never come back at least to to make that to make the tunnel so people are just using that one remaining the halfway remaining one the one remaining there that half there but at least uh, they did some good some good job there. You can't say they never did a job. So they tried. They tried. So this is just the way I'm just heading home now from the center with my mandazis. You can see the mandazis here. And I'm going to, we call them escort. We call them escort. <coughs> we call them escort, escort, escort. So this escort, I'm going to take tea with this one. Uh, me and Amos. We call them escort. So. There's another gate to the church, another gate to the church there, and uh, you can see this maze here, guys. This maze, this maze is as dried up, very, as really dried up, and uh, you see, <laughs> you know, I'm even wondering if this maze was uh, weeded for the second time. See how this maze is bushy, guys. This man must be, I don't know whether he was uh, lazy or what, but you see the, the weeds. The weeds have outgrown the maze. <laughs> see the weeds there guys the weeds have outgrown the maze but all in all the maze has done well even when they are in the weed there they have, uh, it's going to get some good harvest from from that maze there though they have outgrown the, the weeds have outgrown the maze there so yeah it used to be a very so we used to yeah it used to be a hall where we could watch football matches yeah but uh, I don't know what happened for, the, for this guy. Maybe he gave up. <coughs> he gave up, and uh, people no longer watch football there. So when I want to watch football, uh, there's a, I go to the center called Kuja there and uh, watch my football there. Since you know, sitting at home, you are just at home, one person watching football. Something very, it's not even enjoyable. Not even enjoyable. So football needs where there's a lot of people. For those who love footballs, they know. They know the feeling of having very big many people in a hall. So this I will cut here. Omo do ame? Yeah yeah yeah. Ah uskiangi. Sawa. So they are going to they are going to get swag in. There's a there's a there's a there's a, there's a place there's somebody here who is uh, crushing swag and making tagari. So. Those, uh, that that will cut they're going to get for him so working taking to his home there i'm very sure that's where they are going with the wheel cut and the cow so that's you see how people are living in the village it's a very interesting lifestyle very and you're just comfortable you're just just free nothing is just disturbing you at all at all at all at all nothing is disturbing your mind because most of the things you can get uh, easily most of the things you can get easily and uh, maybe what might disturb you much is if you are a parent, maybe school fee. Right now, people are in school, maybe school fee. But what to eat? Uh, what to eat? I don't think. What to eat? You can't go hungry in this village. Here. So, 
see I'm at a junction here. Now these are these are paths leading to my home. This one is going up to town. So this one here is leading to my ancestral home. My dad's ancestral home. This one here. This one is leading to my dad's ancestral home. So I will be even taking uh, I will take I will be taking almost to, to that place so that at least you can see where another another home. One of another home there. At least you can <coughs> go and visit those people when his body can walk there. So that was leading to another to our ancestral home there. So this one here is leading is leading home. Uh Chumabe. So I have a friend here who is uh, in a low lore. I have a friend here called uh, Mr. Evans. So Mr. Evans, can you say hi, my friend? No, it's a hi. good friend of mine. Can hi. say mm. hi. Mm. Okay. How are you? I'm very fine. I'm also fine. Yes. Now I'm heading to work. You told me you were sick. Uh, how are you feeling now? I was sick yesterday, but as per now, yes. I'm, at least I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. So you are going to, to town? Yeah, I'm going to work. You are heading to work? Yeah. Okay. Have a nice day. And uh, may your day be fruitful, man. Okay. okay, okay. We'll talk later. Okay, okay. Uh, so that's my friend called Evans there. And uh, he's a border border guy. Actually, uh, let me say it's my it's my nephew or something like that. But there's been a good help. That man has really. Uh, let me say, in most of the things I do, in most of the travel, in the short travels I do, he always help me. Even if I don't have cash, sometimes he just tell me, uh, "Panda piki piki, panda piki piki." That's like a Swahili word meaning you just let us just go. Just 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 about the 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 motorcycle we go. So that's why I love him so much and. Uh, and uh, when I always make a video, I always want him to appear whenever I meet him. He's a good guy. He's a very humble man. Someone down to earth. Someone who always helps. You know, if you have somebody at least who can help you even at your lower point, that's a true friend. So that guy there always helped me. Even if I don't have cash sometimes, he just tell me, let us just go. Don't worry. Let us just go where you want to go. And uh, don't worry about the, the cost. And uh, you know, somebody, if somebody tells you like that, you feel ah, you feel good. So I love him. I love him. He's a nice guy. So guys, I'm just saying. So this 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 land here, somebody just uh, it was plowed yesterday. This land was plowed yesterday, and uh, this man is just waiting for uh, for the rains, so that he can at least uh, plant some. Uh, he, shall, he can do planting now. With him, he has uh, he has plowed and is just waiting for the rains to fall. So that they can plant. So this is, uh, I'm just heading home. I'm almost even reaching home. I'm almost home. You can see, home is there. So I'm just heading home there. So these are just our neighbors. You can see there are our neighbors here. These are just neighboring homestead. These ones are the neighboring homestead. You can see, but the place look green. The green. The, 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 the something I love with this village. It really looks green. Very green, guys. Even even when it is it is sunny. It is very green. There are some places if you go, just finding a green, a green element. A green element is very difficult, very difficult. But this our village, you can see everywhere is just green, green. So this is our nephew grass. You can see this nephew grass. Here. But this one is not ours. This is for a, a neighbor. This is for a neighbor here. This is a nephew grass. So this is our way just leading home. I'm just on my way home from the center, from buying my mandazis. These are mandazis. This is uh, half a dollar. The Roman, there are six. There are six mandazis. Which one? Which means one goes for uh, around uh, twenty bob Kenya shillings. Twenty Kenya shillings. Twenty cents. So you can see. I'm just heading home, guys. I'm just heading home, and uh, I'm almost. I'm almost reaching home. Actually, I've just said I've just reached home. I've just reached home. So I want to take some tea here, me and Amos today. I'm gonna take tea today, and we welcome you guys uh, for breakfast. We welcome you for breakfast so that you can come at least uh, join ants. In in uh, in my in my language, you say idolo idolo kumbo idolo kumbo. This you know the elbow. This is the elbow here. So when you eat, you see you move your elbow this way. When you eat, you move your elbow this way. So dollar means bending. When you eat, you bend your elbow. So when somebody said Biwadolo Kumbo, come we, we bend our elbows, it means come we eat, come we bend, you know. When you are bending, you, you bend, you bend, you bend, you bend. It means come we eat. So I'm finally home guys. I'm finally home and uh, 
I wanna take some tea. I wanna take some tea here. Yes, so good people. <coughs> so I'm with Amos here, and uh, so I just want to show Amos uh, where I can go and cut the rapier grass there, down there. Since he's a visitor here, and uh, he doesn't know the place, so I'm just walking him around to tell him the places where where we grow the napier grass for the for this cow here called Rose here. So <coughs> it is not a far place, but just uh, around here, it's around here. You're gonna see. So Amos, so Nazaona Indio area here to Sasa, and and I can collect a ukumali penyo nazakata easy napier grass. So <coughs> I'm telling Amos that uh, this is the area and uh, feel comfortable. And I want to show him where I can cut the napier grass just around here. So the kuna kuna shamba ingine apa chini penye tunayenda. Alafu pena kuna kuna ingine uko ju tutayenda iyo pia tuone. Vila itakuwa. Sasa kuna kuwa na raisi, raisi, saa raisi ya kukata hizo nini. So so guys I'm telling Amos there are two places where I can cut the, the napier grass. So there's a place down here where we are just heading to. And there's also another place not just not far away but just near so i will also be taking him to those that place so that he can see the area so so initially you can see this land we are just walking in initially they planted some sugarcane you can even see the sugarcane uh, the sugarcane stems here you can see the stems here guys so they planted the sugarcane here and it's like they have uh, they want to plant maize here they have uh, destroyed the sugarcane and uh, they want to now plant the, the maize around here so we are just walking around and this is a this is a, a cassava plantation. This is just for a neighbor here. This is not ours. But you can see how beautiful it is. It's really good. Really very nice in the village here. So we're gonna walk. So we have to pass through this. There is a way here, there's a small way here. And uh I have to pass here. So can so keep on watching guys to the end so that uh, at least Almost can uh, know where I will be cutting the napier, cutting the napier grass for the for rose that and that cow there. I know the other bulls for the bulls they are grazing. They are just, just they are just being grazed on the grass, but for rose there's a napier grass here. There's a napier. We are just around. We have just reached and uh, that's almost. Almost behind me there. That's almost. So I know Indio, Indio, Indio Shamba Sasa. That's a Indio Shamba. So this is the this is the the garden, guys. This is the garden for for the Napier. E can see the guy can see guys. This is the Napier grass. So that's where we plant the Napier grass here. And uh, these ones are just for us. The Napier grass we're seeing here. So after being cut this way, they are being uh, they are being weeded. They are being weeded. As you can see, it's a very big plantation here for that cow there. So you know, once he will finish eating this one, all this side will be grown up. That side, that side will be grown. They will be, they will have grown. So that's why it is very. It it, it can't go without food. I mean, it can't go without food. That cow cannot go without food. So I'm just walking uh, almost around. Almost also is also on on a cut at two I So guys, I'm just telling Amos what he should be doing, and uh, he should actually this 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 nepia grass has overgrown. Just see, guys, you might think it is a sugar cane, but it is not. So we nakata two ivy out. Ah, ivy. It's like my little pen here too, but utauliza utauliza. Buddha, yeah. to daddy. So we cut a tree. You have to eat it. We are going to eat it. So we are going to cut it. We are going to eat it. We are going to eat it. So guys, there is a trick here we are using. Once you have cut the napier, you tie it this way. You, know? yeah. you tie it this way. You know there are some people who are coming after you, and they just they just cut the, the napier grass after. They time you. Once you have uh, cut your your napier grass, they come behind you and also cut. So once you have cut it. You tie that way, you know they will not be aware of it. So you tie that way so that 
even when they come, you will know somebody has just cut some nipple grass after you you cut you cut yours. So <coughs> so in, in, so you can just come. So guys, this is the nipple grass you can see. This is the nipple grass for us. This one is for us. So down there there's a river there. Down there there's a river, small river called River River Orinde. Down there there's a river. So you can see this is the nipple grass. So this is the end of it. This is the end. This is the end of the so then in Africa up. No. So we're gonna cut a yote. Ikeisha, kuna ingine hapa yuni na kupeleka huko penye penye utaona na zingine hapa So guys, I'm just telling him, uh, <coughs> he will be cutting this one If this one get finished, there's another one up there where he will uh, be cutting So, there's a river down here, you can see there's a river down here and uh, maybe you can just walk and see the river, let me just do almost uh, our river here So there's a river here guys and uh, you know, being almost the first time he's coming in our village here, let me just show him there is a river here. A river here. So, yeah, it's where the men, men bathe, men take a shower here in the river here. Actually, yes, yeah, where men, men take shower. So, you can see, yes, shower for shower for shower for shower. So, you just come and take shower here. That's a Indian Mutoyeto. But, soon on a magic on your Tara kuna naja ya kukuja huku Watu ukipenda Unaweza penda tu kuje uwa Ukipenda tu Mbata kuna naja So guys I'm telling almost uh, This is the river and uh, If you feel like coming to the river It doesn't want to be at home It's free to come But uh, again I'm saying there's no need of Him coming here Since there is plenty of water at home there A lot of water to save time It doesn't need to come here But if you feel like coming to the river and taking shower here it's also allowed it's also allowed so these are uh, yams just the yams plantation here just see somebody just planted some yams here let me just show them i'm coming so guys you can see the yams here i see the yams here these are yams you can see them this is a very nice plantation of yams actually it is very big uh you can, you can see these are just yams yams up there are yams down here let us just see this plantation of yam here <coughs> it's a very big plantation you can see a very big plantation of yams of yams yam actually one day i will try this one here this uh, this yam plantation you know it has got money one yam goes for around uh, half a dollar just one yam so you can imagine you can imagine and people harvest them even in in terms of sacks so that's the river so those are wild yam those ones are just have grown by themselves. Those ones over there. Those ones have grown by themselves, and uh, these ones are pl are planted ones. These ones are planted ones. So almost to Nazanda uko to Angalia yu. Alafu ni kupaleke uko kwetu uko kwetu penye nazarfunga ngombe. So guys, uh, we are heading to the next uh, <coughs> next stage where there is another another garden for uh, nepia plantation. So I want almost to know all of them, all the all the places, so that at least you get it easy. You know, it is easier when you know something. So let's have a walk. But even I can even decide to pass through through my our ancestral home there, so that at least he see and uh, he knows what is happening there. So maybe we can pass through there through that home there. And uh, since that uh, nepia grass is just next to home there, and uh, where we have reached is uh, closer to my ancestral home, so maybe I can just pass there first. Then, and when we come back, I will be passing through that garden there. So we are heading to my ans my dad's ancestral home. Let me just say our home, our ancestral home there. And uh, I'm going to show Hamos some of the stuff there. So we are just walking here, guys. This is just a way leading there. And uh, we are with Hamos here. Hamo, Hamo, Hamo. We call Hamo. Hamo, Naskia Haji, man. Naskia Poa. Naskia Poa. Yoni Firi. So, guys, uh, Hamos is saying it's feeling nice. And 
it's really comfortable being in this village here. Yeah. Rare village, eh? A very green, a very green, the village is very green. So, no, no, it is very green, huh? Eh? Uh, it is very green, huh? Eh? It is very green, huh? So, guys, uh, I'm telling Hamos, uh, the village looks very green, as you can see, and it's really enjoying the fresh air. So, we welcome you also, guys, uh, from my YouTube family there. Please come and have experience in the village here, and uh, maybe you feel the breeze, you feel the breeze. So we take this road here, we take this road here, and uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna see, we're gonna show you what's happening. So these are just uh, the homes at our home. My, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just uh, already I'm at, at uh, our ancestral home. Hey, I won't go to that alone. Hey. So guys, I'm just greeting, I'm just greeting a Kiongozi there, there's a Kiongozi there, just checking his farm there. Kiongozi means Jatelo. Jatelo, in my language, Jatelo is someone who's big. Chairman. Yeah, that's Jatelo there. So somebody just did some planting some kale there. And uh, this is the, this is uh, called uh, sweet potatoes. So these are sweet potatoes, you can see sweet potatoes here. <coughs> and they're, eh, these are very, in, in, they're in a bush, guys, they're in a bush. So I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm already in my, in my ancestral home. So you can see the view, the view here. Yeah. These are scales, they are skumawiki scales. And uh, so you can see, guys. So these are that's the views, the view, the view. You can see the view. My ancestral home. I can see the view. So these are uh, my dad's tree here. These are my dad's tree here. Just a mini forest here. That's a mini. So on a easy, easy meeting. Easy nizamze sasa. Easy nizamze. Apa ni kwe. Apa ni apa ni kwa. Sato leama uku tu kaenda ukule side. So guys, I'm telling almost that this <coughs> where we are now, where we are right now, is our our ancestral home and uh, the other place we are living there is now where we bought the land and uh, migrated there. So I'm telling him this is my dad's uh, shamba. So I'm telling him guys, you can come and try the animals here. They can eat here before any project starts here. You can come and try the animals here. Sapo unaweza kuja ufunge ngombe hapo na kuna kuna place mali nyingine hapa chini unaweza kuja pia ufunge ngombe so yes I'm, I'm just telling i'm just telling almost places where i can at least come and graze the the animals and uh, even tie them some actually those animals are just being tied they're not being grazed they're just being tied so um, we are just walking on the in this mini forest here the mini forest. You can see these tall, 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 tall trees here. The tall trees. The tall trees. So when there's a kuja pia, no no So this is uh this so when there's a kuja uku pia, upunga ngombe up. And uh wanna funga vizuri san. So wanna kula tu uku. So guys, uh, I'm telling Amos that uh, you can as well come try the animals here, around here. So you see, yes, but there's a lot of pasture, a lot of pasture here. So you come and tie, tie them. Now on upper two chin, upper, on our finger to be zuri. So that if you figure your time, you have to pay a maji, now pay a two maji up, on our finger ten now kusan. So, so, so to Nazaru di Bukubasi. So guys, uh, I've just showed uh, Amos where he can come and uh, tie the animals and uh, and graze even. So it is a it's a nice tour. Amos in it to sana. It's a nice tour. I'm taking Amos for a tour for a tour just uh, around the village, around the village here. For a tour around. So these are. Uh, so these are trees here, the, the garden, the, the forest, a mini forest here. 
So these are my dad's tree. You can see them. They are very nice trees here. You can see the view. Uh, so if you want to see. <coughs> so my dad, uh, there's a previous video I did about my dad and the brothers. So uh, I also have my stepmom there. My mom from another uncle, the big one, the eldest uncle. And she's doing something here. You know, Mondi, what do you go? Come on, don't know what you're doing. I'm going to eat. I don't know what you're doing. Oh. 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 Hey. Koro ejinang. Hmm? Isinjo. Eh hey, asinja kuna golgi. Hmm. Eh. Hey. Oh. Sauron. So guys, these are ground nuts. <laughs> these are ground nuts. You can see the ground nuts and uh, they are being harvested. These are they are being harvested. And uh, this is my stepmom from my uncle. Muno muno kwa chikata ai more ya. Akia kata ai no nyata. Anti mni eh ai. Ai. Yes. Amos karibu njugu. Unaweza kula njugu. Oko. Yes. Na onge wa. Mambu koro wako ni wa team kama. Eh. Eh. Oh. Team kama mimi team re kama. Abe. So guys, uh, my mom here is just uh, harvesting her groundnuts here. And uh, you can see what she's doing. This is how we have a granite in the village here. And uh, very important here. There are some there which is they are being dried here. You can see this is a capera. And uh, they are drying. These ones are drying. You know, morning you can you check? Hmm? I'll go check. Oh. So I'm asking if the groundnuts have done well. That is saying she's saying they have not done that well. Now she expected, and uh, but the little she has got, she's happy with them. You know, when you know what the mat, I care of young so Kijana Nikonu at the other. Oh, hm. Eh, I miss a lot of car, I miss a car, and Duke Morocco, a modern American. Oh, Morocco, eh, a man. I must be twenty. So, guys, uh, <coughs> we are continuing with our journey as she does her work there. So you can still see the view, the, our ancestral home view. So this is the, that's our house there, over there. That's our house over there. You can see the house over there. And uh, there over there, there's another of my uncle's home. You can see. And uh, this, this is the banana, this is a banana here. So he has two sons. This is the first one, the first one is this one, and the second one is that one there. And uh, that's the home. That's the home there. Image. Image now. Even now. Mm. So. So just the view, guys. You can see the view. And uh, that's my another one of my uncle's house. So you see here, see here, here we, we just some a bit hilly. So yes, where my my dad had a house here. So I found you to live younger, you buy it to Sasa. Hmm. Oh no, I found you to live younger, you buy it to Sasa. And then to a car, to kind of up. So guys, I'm telling almost <coughs> yes, where we built our house before we left that side. And uh, you can see, so over here is my grandmother's house. This one here. <coughs> this is my grandmother's house. So that happened here, Bibi. Here is my young sister. Here is my young sister. Here is my young sister. But here is my young sister. So this is my grandmother's house. And uh, she had passed away. She has gone. So no, nobody is staying here. I couldn't have been here for a while. And uh, my 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 grandfather had two wives. So that's the eldest wife, and my grandmother was the was the small second wife. I mean, <coughs> the second wife. So this is the view. You can see the view of my 
ancestral home compound this is the view now guys you can see the view how the view looks like this is the view guys this is the view just have a view and see what's happening here that's the view guys that's the view So I'm just from, we are just from the, from my ancestral home and uh, we are heading back home guys. So we are heading back home. I'm with Hamos here. And uh, before we reach home, there is a place I want to show Hamos there where I can come again and cut the Napier grass. Apart from the, the other sign, the other, the other one I showed him, there is also another place just in around here. I want to show him so that at least he can cut the Napier grass there. You can cut the nepia grass there. So keep watching, guys. Keep watching and uh, and uh, let's have a tour. Just have a tour of the um, the compound, the village here, and uh, see amazing things here. See amazing stuff. The amazing trees here. You can see the amazing trees. Very amazing. Wow. These trees are very amazing. So we have, even we have just uh, to we have just reached. And uh, almost soon as a puja ivy. So you can see this one, guys. This is also the nepia grass. Uh, this is our nepia grass. So now, I if you are a ukati. Now, I have a ipia ikoredu. Now, I have a So, guys, this is another, another plantation of nepia grass apart from the one I had showed you earlier. And I'm just showing almost that. Uh, you can come and have, cut this one also. So you see our roses got uh, many food. The food is many here for that one cow. Actually, it must be the that cow among the cows feeling well, feeling nice in this village. One of the cows feeling nice in the village here. So you can see. You here, you can see. You can see. You can see. You can 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 you you can you can you can you can you you can you can can you can you you can you you can 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 just have a look. Just have a look. Just have a look. So if you are you go Adu Kochini, Adu Kochini, you have a neighbor's car. You have a kid in the house. You don't have a kid in the house. So guys, uh, I've just showed him almost the, the Napier grass and now we want to head back home. So we want to go home and uh, almost you may own us as kuna kuna places zingine pia utakuwa unaona but with the time sir so tunaza pita hapa nataka makuna njia can can try uh. wow i almost fell down so guys uh, i'm through with the tour i'm through touring almost around and now i'm heading back home now I'm doing, I'm heading back home after the tour. I've showed him places where I can uh, can graze, can try the animals, and they can even have a walk and see. So it was a nice tour. And uh, please, uh, if you are watching for the first time, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am Oonga Junior, and uh, please even leave a comment there share and uh, like and if you're a returning viewer i really appreciate you and uh, i'm really happy for the support you are giving and uh, please continue watching my videos continue supporting me in all my videos a lot, a lot i still have a lot a long way to go and please make me reach a thousand subscribers so i'm on the way to a thousand subscribers and uh, i can only achieve this by your support guys so uh, let me reach a thousand subscribers and uh, 
I've, and even more not just a thousand but even more let me reach more 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 subscribers guys i really appreciate your support how you watch my videos the comments and even the sharing you are doing i really appreciate continue supporting me so that the channel can grow and reach more audience guys